I just love it here because it's it's very isolated. Um, it's very remote. We can um, you don't see neighbors, you don't hear neighbors. You just your animals can run free. You can enjoy everything you love about living in the country, the nature, um, being surrounded by God and all the creatures that He created. It's really a great place to be, and it's my little paradise here. I love it here. I love that we have the pond. Uh, when we first were building, we thought about putting in an in-ground pool, and, but then, you know, we thought, well, when the kids get older, um, what are the dogs going to do? Because they just love the pond, and they're in it almost every day. Um, the kids had a zip line across it, and they still like to go in the pond, even though they're older now. So they grew up swimming in that pond with their friends, and um, I mean, every day they would be in the pond, and probably five or six times in the summer during the day, they'd go down there, swim, come back up to the house head back down, swim some more. So we put a rack up there to hang all their towels up. Um, some stories. Uh, there's just so many stories, all invol involving animals. Um, Sarge was here. Sarge is no longer with us. He died in March, but he was an awesome dog. Um, he helped raise these little critters right here, fawns. And so we rescue fawns here and we rescue raccoons, any orphaned raccoons, um, we rescue them, we give them a home and then release them into the wild. And we did that with a lot of deer, a lot of fawns. And Sarge helped with that. He was um, known around the world really. He was on a lot of different animal channels online. He was an awesome dog. So a lot of stories about Sarge. Um, there'll never be another Sarge, but we do have some other great dogs now and they help us and they're a lot of fun. Um, so I wrote a children's book recently and that's always been my dream to write children's books. I'm a writer and this is a great place to be inspired when you're a writer. Um, so I did a book about Chief. This was after Sarge died and Chief is our little corgi mix. My, he's actually my son's dog and um, he, he was very inspirational when writing a book because he's just cute as he can be. And so Chief, um, he had a hard time following in Sarge's footsteps or paw prints in the beginning but he turned into a great dog and that's what the children's book is about how little chief um, helps with the orphans and especially the little, little raccoons so um, that book is called a pup named chief and people seem to really love it and we use pictures that we've actually taken here on the farm our place got its name bucky's porch because we have a cow named bucky he's a big black and white holstein he's a steer he's not a bull so um his story is uh, completely on impulse. I was driving home from the grocery store one day and I passed the farmer up on um, a nearby road and he's heading to town with this calf in the back of his pickup truck. And um, I don't know what possessed me, but I turned around and chased him down the road, flashing my lights. And the first thing he said was, uh, they're going for a lot of money now. <laughs> he knew right away I wanted to buy him. So I did, I bought him. He was $200 and he came and uh, just grew up basically in our house and on the porch. So as he grew, which he's like 3,000 pounds now, he still comes on the porch. So um, social media loves him and they started calling it Bucky's Porch for that reason. So he's an awesome cow. He hangs out with the horses and uh, loves all the other animals here, so maybe you'll get to take a look at him soon.